worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Manuel on radio. God has sent us to this radio station to be a blessing to you. Every day, fresh word from the throne. He said, give us day by day our daily food. As the physical food is to the natural body, spiritual food, the word of God is to the spiritual life. And the spiritual controls the physical. God has given us the word for each day on this highly esteemed radio station. For all of you, my esteemed listeners, don't miss it daily. This time, this station. We always start with faith confession. Faith is a confession. Don't keep quiet. If not, you will be silenced. He said in Numbers 14, 28, that which I hear you say, that will I do. I have taught us here again and again, don't say negative things to your life, to yourself, to your children, to your business, to your body. No matter how you feel, no matter how you hear, no matter what is on the social media, no matter what people are saying, the word of God prevails. Don't say I'm sick. Don't say I'm broke. Don't say I'm finished. Don't say I'm dying. Don't say they won't allow me. When you say negative things against yourself, it's like pointing a loaded pistol against one's life and pulling the trigger. That is suicide. Say what the word of God says, it will eventually come to pass. If you can be as loud where you are, as we are here, be that loud. If you cannot be that loud, still say it as loud as you can, depending on your situations there. Take this confession with us. Say with me, my father and my God. I am here again before you today to give you praise, to give you adoration, to thank you for all you have done. I'm also here today to pour out my heart on all issues around me, to present my family, to represent my family, to present myself for a sweeter anointing by your power today let there be a new anointing a new flow of grace of power of increase on my life and my family i confess i belong to you so i am yours i confess i am higher than my issues by the encounter of today you will take me higher in possession in occupation, nothing will bring me down as I present my children, my family, immediate family, extended family, father's side, mother's side. Let there be a new intervention in all areas of our life. I will return to this mountain and give you the glory. I confess it, I believe it, and so I receive it in Jesus' name. Wow, you will not just be making daily confession, you will be seeing divine openings. Help from heaven, open doors. Now, from faith confession, we now come to the ministration of the word. The word of God rules the word. Love God's word and live by it. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder, between the soul and the spirit, the joint and the marrow, and it is the designer of all intents of the heart, the word of God. Listen to it every day. Consider the word of God as a sword or as a scalpel, the surgeon's knife, for opening up the patient, removing the problem, covering it back without a scar. Receive it here daily. Now, something good is already happening to you, my listeners, as you daily receive these insightful teachings. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word. We started yesterday talking about the power in the name of Jesus, the power in his name. 
I title my message today, The Above All God. The Above All God. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 says, Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above all other names. Mm, I like that. The name that is above all other names. The Ogapatapata, the Oga on top. No doubt, there are some other names. There are some other forces and powers other deities but his own name is above all ephesians chapter 4 verse 6 says one god and father of all and through all and in all do you hear that that should thrill you it should make you jump for joy that we belong to the above all god above all god above sicknesses above diseases above thrones above wishes and wizard above demonic forces above causes and evil covenants no matter where we are coming from about what anybody may be passing through above this moment spiritual physical financial material marital mental what is it name it we serve the above all god i'm happy to present to you the above all God, the God that is above all, higher than the highest, taller than the tallest, stronger than the strongest, older than the oldest, richer than the richest, bigger than the biggest. See how Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, described him. He said, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ever ask or think, according to the power that works in us wow able to do abundantly above what is superlative that is our above all god above all names moses in the palace of pharaoh threw down his rod and he became a serpent as god ordered him to do but you remember pharaoh also called his magicians they also carried the rod they threw their rods he became serpent but moses rod picked up their own rod one by one and swallowed them it was from that incident i knew that one serpent was more serpentine than the other serpent we do not deny that there are some other forces and powers but in first john chapter 4 verse 4 it says ye have got little children you have overcome the world for greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. Greater, greater, greater than all. Above all God. Greater. That's English. The first time I read First John chapter 4 verse 4, I thought that was a grammatical error. Because in English grammar, you have great, greater, greatest. In that order. So when I read in First John chapter 4 verse 4, that says greater is he who is in you. I began to say, well, why don't he say greatest? Because greatest is supposed to be higher than greater. Until illumination came to me. There is anything called greatest. The greater one is greater than the greatest. Jesus, the greater one, is greater than the greatest. Hallelujah. Bigger than all my problems. Bigger than all my needs. God is bigger than every problem that I have or cannot have. Bigger than all my changes bigger than everything god is bigger than every problem that we may or may not have god is bigger than all mountains that could confront any human being bigger in scope bigger in power. he owns the whole world he said gold is mine silver is mine i'm the owner of a cattle on a thousand hill wow that's our god that's your god Jesus Christ said in John chapter 20, verse 17, he said, I go to my father and your father. I go to my God and your God he is our father. He is our God. That is the one we are talking about. He's your God. He's your father. He owns you. He created you. He sends you. Therefore, I want you to take the ownership of God. I want you to embrace him. I want you to know him. He said, I go to my God and your God, to my father and your father. At a point, Jesus said to the disciples, 
I no longer call you servant. I call you friends. Hey, you can be a friend of God. It look blasphemous, but no. Once you endear yourself to God, he said, can I do this thing without telling Abraham, my friend? God is calling a man his friend. That's our God. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He's our father. He's our lover. He's our maker. He's our succorer. He's our provider. He's our protector. He's our promoter. He's our everything. I invite you, embrace this God. As I daily call you, connect you to our social media platforms, I call you to prayer mountain services, I call you to Sunday services. These are the locations where we talk about it. Come and hear these things more. The above all God, higher than your mountain, bigger than your needs. God is bigger than whatever problems, whatever needs you have. He's able to meet it and take you above them. I want to begin to pray for you. Lay your hand on yourself. I pronounce you blessed. I pronounce you lifted. This above all God shall sit on top of your challenges. Health, marriage, finance, crisis, economic, spiritual, physical, and give you solution. I prophesy your confusion will become your solution. Your obstacle will become your miracle. Somebody say, I receive it in Jesus' name. We will build more on this tomorrow from ministration of the word to testimonies. Listen to these testimonies, the doings of God in our generation. If somebody says there are no more miracles, somebody said miracles ended with the apostles. No, he missed it. Miracles are still happening, happening with us every day. Listen to these ones. My name is Florence Edward. I'm here to return all the glory to God Almighty, who has not made me a widow today. Mm. Last Sunday, my husband traveled on this Bini or a road as they were coming back. Their motor got an accident and he somersaulted three times. Wow. That the whole door was locked. So it was the passerbys and those cars that stopped. Wow. And were able to break the glasses and he came out. Wow. So I just want to thank God because he didn't have any hurt, no wow. wound. Wow. He came out safely. Wow. Even the brother that drove the same thing. It's only the third person that with them that had wounds. Hmm. So I just want to return all, the all glory, to, glory God. to God. God Secondly, bless you. Secondly, on last week, my daughter, because we are fasting, as I was praying around one, she woke up and went to the fridge to go and collect water. She was coming back. I saw her holding her. her. And I called. I said, what happened? He said, mommy, my heart. I can't breathe in. I can't breathe in. And I said, what happened to your heart? I just took my mantle. Yes. I took my salt. Yes. I said, open your mouth. This time uh -huh. is not the time to say anything. I put the salt in her mouth. I put the mantle. I said, go and lie down. Yes. She lied down. After 30 minutes, she come back. I said, mommy, it's working. <laughs> now I can breathe. I can talk. Till the following morning, she was able to wake, go out. So I just returned. All the we give all the glory to God. Mr. Mosuti Monty, I bless the day I joined this commission. Amen. Because it's one of the sisters that sent this audio message to me. But the day I opened it, God has started the good things in my life. Before, if I do any work, people will return it in a week later that the thing is already spoiled. Mm. So I will start paying debt. Yeah. Anytime I gather money to go and give my parents, problem will start. But since I've joined this commission, hmm. I've had this new sword, huh. anointing oil, yes. Anointing, yes. so everything is starting to work. Hallelujah. I need to now start gathering money to do something by myself. You do something great. Build your house, buy your car. Are you married yet? Get ready for that. <laughs> by the grace of God, what you were doing before that are failing, they will no longer fail. My name is Chidi Mana, so that was um, um, about one week ago. Daddy said that we should move down to our door and hold the door. And whatever that you want, just believe. So I moved in, I just hold the door. And there is this particular thing that I'll be asking God. My younger sister moved to Dubai. For a good one year, there was no job. And I told God, with this door that I'm going to open today, mm. I'm going to share a testimony. Mm. And after that, the next two days, my younger one called me. In fact, she was chatting. He said, uh -uh, Ma, do you know? I said, what? He said, a company that I did not know. 
they just called me. In fact, they have given me my letter of appointment. Yes. They have done a two-year visa to. for me. That she's resuming work. She just resumed the work um two days ago. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And again, my elder sister in the office, there this girl that has been troubling her. I said, just like mommy said, say, give me the name. Mm -hmm. I took the name and I knew down. I said, God, you are God that fights all battle. Mm. Nobody will take your place mm. in our life. Mm. And before you know it, I told her to walk to the girl and tell her that you better you repent and start doing good to other people. So, mm. like this now, the girl has been excluded from the job. Mm. And my sister is still there. I just Hallelujah. want to give God glory. No. My name is Olubumi Omolade. Last year was so challenging, but I kept on praying hmm. and listening to Daddy Femi Emmanuel. Towards the end of last year, the Lord settled our U.S. immigrants. Hmm. For so many years, we've been waiting for this. And just last year, we received a letter that told us to commence the processing but what was take what was supposed to take three months at most four months was taking ten months and mm -hmm. we were like we didn't even know where we were heading to but to the glory of God mm -hmm. the Lord crowned the last year yes. with our UN he made this and um, last day Christmas hmm. the Christmas I will never forget for wow. the rest of my life thank you Jesus hallelujah whatever you are also believing God for is delivered to you now my name is Semitokpe Oyelude. I want to give God all the glory. The second to the last um, anointing service last year, which was the abundance, anointing for abundant harvest. I went again and told the still your word to perform it, Lord, because I will surely come to testify. Mm. And when it was around 625, mm. God started <laughs> till almost the last day of um, December, those good gifts kept coming. It mm. was my best Christmas ever. Wow. And last week, Thursday, there was, in fact, all through um, last year, since I joined um, this um, commission, I want to thank God because I was believing God for my husband to, to join me here. Mm. Most of the time, I will send the messages. He's just there. we will be telling him, ah, he hears a lot of people. Uh, he hear this from Emmanuel and other. But I say, Lord, I want you to mm. touch him to mm. be listening to it. To the glory of God, I salted my mouth and I knew it was a mm. public holiday. Mm -hmm. So I went to meet him. I said, Timmy, please, I want you to join me to Goshen land today. Good wife. He said, I want to sleep. So I don't know. The Holy Spirit led me to leave him. I arranged the children and all that. In less than 10 minutes, this man was waiting outside in the car for <laughs> us. I want to give God all the glory. In fact, since that day, he will just separate himself to go and hear the WhatsApp message every day. I want to give God wow. all the glory. glory. Hallelujah. You are a good wife. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Wow. You will not just be hearing other people's testimonies. God will open the heavens and pour you abundant, miraculous interventions. It's today your bad day. I pray for celebrant every day. I pronounce you blessed. I pronounce you divinely covered, divinely catered for, a touch not for the devil. You will live long. You will live well. You will fulfill purpose. Say amen. Happy bad day. Now, have you connected to our social media platforms? I call out for this every day. Many people have already done so, and they are getting blessed. We send a short video to YouTube every day, full of anointing and power and inspiration. I send a 10, 12 minutes daily devotion to your WhatsApp, to your Telegram, to your social media platform, that when you wake up, you open your phone, tap on that icon, and hear it. Let this voice, this anointing, come into your life every day to give you direction, to give you support, inspiration, prophetic grace, word of knowledge, word of power. It will just turn every day happy for you. And it is not difficult. It's simple. Search for The Real Femi Emmanuel on your social media platforms. The Real Femi Emmanuel. The word real is R-E-A-L. The Real Femi Emmanuel. On Facebook, like and follow. The Real Family Emmanuel on Instagram, follow. The Real Family Emmanuel on TikTok, follow and like. The Real Family Emmanuel on YouTube, subscribe and turn on notification. Also on Twitter and the other social media platforms. If you couldn't get the link as I called it now, if you are finding it difficult to get the link and connect, send an SMS, make a chat or a call to this number. 
0805-802194. One more time. 0805-802194. And 0813-485-2813. 0813-485-2813. They will put you through. Connect to that link and be enjoying it. And those of you that are already connected to DPGF Family Worldwide, be rebroadcasting it. It will bless you and keep lifting you. And then, this invitation to all my listeners in and around the Badom, outside the Badom, wherever you are hearing this, I invite you to the prayer mountain service coming up this Thursday, February 15, at Dominion City, Aduloju bus stop, along the whole road, Ojo, Express Route, Ibadan. It's a destiny transforming program. It's interdenominational. It is interracial. It's intertribal. It's interreligious. It is for everybody. We don't mention the name of any church or religion there. It is for those who want the power of God, the anointing of God, the grace of God to break every yoke, to connect them, the Great Prayer Mountain Service. Come to Dominion City this Thursday. We drive two services there every Thursday. 7 to 9 a.m., two hours, is the first service. That first service is so good for you. No traffic on the road then. Just two hours. You still have your full day to yourself. The second service is 9.30 to 11.30 a.m., another two hours. Still in the morning. Attend very from everywhere. Attend the one that is most convenient for you. Many people even attend it too. It will bless you. Prayer focus on prayer mountain this Thursday must not be missed by anyone. It is called anointing for winning in life battles. Life is full of battles. Life is full of warfare. Life is a warfare, not a funfare. Battle over the health, over cancer, over some terminal diseases. Battle in marriage. Battle in raising your children. Battle on your platform. Financial battle. Career battle. Environmental battle. Workplace battle. For every kind, life is a battleground. But the battle is winnable when you come under God. Come this Thursday. We will give you an anointed mantle for praying and doing miracles. Free. Bring things. Bring your anointing oil bottle. Bring water. Bring document. Bring photograph. Bring issues of life. There is no issue. Your fear shall disappear. Those of you that are already coming, don't miss it any week. Don't let the road construction between you road and Ojo Express Road discourage you. We have made arrangements for you to be able to pass easily. Come in your car, come in your vehicle, come in transportation. Now we position buses at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, and at Poplar Petrol Station in War Road to bring people to and fro Dominion City in the two services. It will bless you and change you. Please come and see the power of God in action. Don't let them tell you these testimonies you are hearing, they are coming from that program. It's not like a church conventional service. It is prophetic. I call all communities close to Dominion City. You are so close. People are coming from all over Ibadan, as big as Ibadan is, and outside Ibadan, other cities, other states. You are so close. So all residents of the Middle East Estate, Olon Tedo Estate, Samba Murayo Hotel area, Jakon area, Aduloju community, Iyanobodija, Ori of First Street, Alagbayun, A3 Hotel, Rainbow area, Kajorepo Kajola, Ajao community, Agbowo Express, Barita Water, Ojo Obashonu, Orogun Major Salawu area, MFM Bus Stop area, Ashibodija, General Gas, Akobo area, Akalawe, University of Ibadan, you are all very close to Dominion City. Just a drop, two drop, 20 minutes walk, 15 minutes walk, 10 minutes drive, 20 minutes drive, you are there. This Thursday must not be missed. Winning over the battles of life. What plagued you last year must not continue this year. Come under that open heaven. What is left for me now is to prophetically bless you. Receive it. From now on, Every one of you, wherever you are connected to this voice, operating more than enough. More than enough money. More than enough contracts. 
more than enough sales more than enough anointing more than enough membership more than enough customers more than enough clients more than enough payment more than enough power more than enough peace more than enough health more than enough strength from today no more shortages he said the whole money on the internet trading wiped off then i started paying my tithe and now things have turned around i prophesy things will turn around for you everyone that had experienced losses before i pronounce restoration for your children wherever they are in the whole world everywhere your children may be in the whole world you are standing in the gap for them this anointing will be working for them there will be nobody called poor here anymore there will be nobody called barren here anymore he said the smallest of us will be doing great things in your family in your community in your city back to your village they will know you for good everybody put mantle on your head god said i should decree and cancel death sentences whatever arrow of death is being sent to anyone or all your children everyone connected to you all over the world those death sentences are cancelled he said a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand at your right side he said no evil shall come near your dwelling a girl gave a testimony he said on the way from the bank ritualist abducted her did you hear it this morning they took them to unknown destination but the leader of the gang said he saw angels around her that they should not touch her in fact one of the people should lead her out of the bush and show her the road i pronounce on every one of you no kidnapper no bandits no ritualist no arm robber no lassa fever no coronavirus every evil happening to people no one will come near you you will not just be receiving prophetic blessings you will be living in the realities of them we will build more on this tomorrow family manuel is my name i love you have a wonderful day bye